Hey, I can help you over here. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Um, my laptop has just decided to not turn on. Alright. I don't know what to do. Uh, if it's a software issue, we're able to fix any laptop. But mm -hmm. if it's a hardware issue, we only fix Apple and Dell's. Do you know if it's under warranty? I do not. It's like 30 years old, so probably not. Let me take a look at it. Alright. there. It's so funny you're here. I was supposed to do a tour of the Tech Commons and you're here. My name's Ryan and I'm the manager of the Technology Commons. Come on and let me show you around this place. Man, it is so great here. It's the basement, but man, it feels like the hundredth floor. It's just sky is the limit in this place. Look at how huge and amazing this place is. This is the Tech Commons, so we do uh, equipment checkout here. Uh, we have the cheapest printing on campus cheaper than ramen printing. We have uh, IT assistance here, walk up, you can get whatever help that you need. We do networking appointments, in-dorm assistance, but the best part of the Tech Commons is these wonderful people right here. This is Hayden, there he is, look at him. He waved and everything. And that's Ethan. These are our amazing student workers. Uh, and then this is Nick, that's, look at him. In all his glory, that's him. We hired that guy. Uh, we are so excited that you guys get to come and meet these amazing people. They're here to help you with anything that you need if you ever want to come by. All right, come on this way and let me show you the 3DU. This is an amazing place. Uh, this is where we do 3D printing and modeling. This is uh, where you can come in and make your plastic dreams come true. It's incredible. So we have these things over here, 3D printers, those plastic ones and there's resin ones, you bring the design and we can print it for you or you can print it yourself. Uh, all you have to do is just pay for the cost of plastic and you can print stuff for personal use, for professional use, for all you D&D &D people, you can print your dungeons and your dragons. For you that you know like toys and, and anime and stuff, you can do that. Uh, we have all kinds of cool things that you can print here. Uh, we have this sculpture of myself uh, whenever I get excited about stuff. And then we have this, which I think is some fancy stairs. And then um, we also have uh, this right here, which is what happens. Um, I don't know what that is actually. But uh, we're really excited for you to come and enjoy the 3DU. So, you know, when you've been doing this as long as I have, you know, you hear things like, wow, Ryan, you're an amazing boss, or you're the boss, or wow, that's so boss, and they usually say it around me, which, you know, I, I know means that they mean me, you know, or, or wow, he is just the boss, and they don't say my name, but, you know, you, I know what they're, they're saying, you know, they're just trying to be nice, and, and so, you know, I was, you know, uh, one day I got this, this mug, and I really think that it, it just sums up, you know, what I'm trying to say. And one of my employees actually got it for me. Um, and by that, I mean myself, you know, because I'm, I'm my own boss, you know. And you know what they say, when, when you're your own boss, you uh, kill two birds with one stone and never work a day in your life, you know. And I think that just really makes a lot of sense when you think about it. What? Oh, what I do here? Um, you know a lot of things. I'm one of four desk supervisors. Uh, we sit out at the desk all day and kind of just wait for stuff to happen. The students do a lot of the work. I just put in my admin credentials. Um, when I'm not at the desk, I do things like data utilization. Basically, I just crunch the numbers, see what we use, what we don't use. This kind of helps us make decisions. Um, I also help run the Scantron machines. You know, those things, those bubble sheets where you put in the tests, I uh, make sure those don't break. They like to break a lot. And then, here recently, I've been kind of setting up our ticketing system. You know, that's a lot of fun, uh, doing different kind of values and, and setting up different ways that we can make tickets. I mean. I think about it, that's actually kind of boring. But you know, I keep busy. 
Hey, welcome to our space. Let me show you around. So in our space, we have three main types of machines. This right here is a docking station. You're going to know if it's a docking station and it has this little cable sticking out right here. You just plug it into your laptop and that gives you dual monitors. Basically, more room for you to work. Come on, let me show you the second type. These are VCAT machines. You know they're VCAT machines by the purple log in here? People primarily use that for specific softwares they need for their class. You log into your account and it'll give you access to whatever you need. Now come on, let me show you the star of our show. These are our brand new Macs. Mainly people love to use these for their Adobe suite. So they edit videos and photos, stuff like that. It doesn't even have to be just for classes. People do a lot of personal projects on here. They're really fast machines. They're great. I love using them myself. Now last thing, let me show you our active learning classroom. So this is our active learning classroom. Here a lot of people like to have their classes or study in here. It's a classroom that you can reserve, but it's first come, first serve. So if you want it, you can go ahead and get it and use it for either study sessions with groups of people or your friends, or professors like to bring their classes in here or do orientations, different stuff like that. So back here we have our Zoom room. Come on, let me show you. This is the room that a lot of people like to have meetings and interviews in. We have our conference table here so you can have groups of people with about I don't know, seven, eight, however many chairs are in here. That's how many people can be in here. Um, I guess people can stand as well. We have a board here that will show what's on your screen. So if you're just having an internal meeting and you want people in the room to see what's on your screen, you can do one of two things. You can connect your laptop to this cord right here and it'll show what's on your screen. Or you can hit share content here on the screen. It's actually a touch screen. Another great feature is this whiteboard. It loads then. Bada bing, bada boom. If you're in a meeting, people in the meeting can actually see what's on the whiteboard. You can draw smiley faces, charts, graphs, whatever you need to do on the whiteboard and then during the meeting people can see that. You can also just have a normal Zoom meeting with this. You can join an already existing meeting or start a new meeting and people outside of the room can actually join as well. So you can have a big conference call about something important or maybe an individual interview, really whatever you want to do. All right, now let me show you our multi-purpose room. So this room, people like to use for meetings and stuff like that, multiple purposes. You can connect your personal laptop to the screen here, show PowerPoints, charts, and graphs. We also have a whiteboard in here that you can actually check out expo markers from the checkout desk. When you have them, you know, people just write notes and stuff on them. Just make sure when you're done, you clean off the whiteboard with our provided dry erase marker. Hey. Hey. What'd you do this weekend? Nothing really. Yeah. Yeah, that that's cool. Anyways, um, this weekend I took an outdoor wilderness class and they taught us how to make tea. So I figured as a kind gesture I'd make some for everybody. So I made some for you. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, yeah. So let me know what you think. Are you going to drink it? My name is Mackenzie. I'm the marketing coordinator here. Uh, I do the social media posts. Uh, I do the flyers we give out at orientation. I do a lot of what we call space marketing or the wall stickers. Um, and some of the signs you'll see around in the space. I also draw geese. Nick thinks they're funny. Parkour! 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 We need to be posting like 30 times a day. We need to have 8 million followers by the end of the summer. Not even just 30. We need to be posting at least 50 times a day oh and getting gosh. the word out there because people just don't know about our tech comments, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I know. I can't believe that. We should also promote on MySpace. We should just try and My get space. everyone to follow us the entire campus. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. You know what's better than 50? 100. 
100 posts a day? 100 posts a day. Even better. Even better. We should do videos, GIFs, emojis, GIFs and emojis. Absolutely. Awesome. We need to make a video about the tech commons. A video would be nice. Yeah. A video yeah. would be really good. But also, we need to use hashtags. Hashtags. Just fill the description with hashtags. hashtags. And put like, hashtag tech commons in Hunter Library. Hashtag tech commons is the best 2023. Yeah, like, like hashtag tech commons bussin' with equipment. Hashtag tech commons 8 million crawl is lit on fire. I love it. Hey, I'm Josiah. I'm the equipment checkout coordinator here at the Tech Commons. I'm in charge of all of our checkout equipment and managing fines on student accounts and just making sure things get back in orderly time. This is our design space. We got this awesome wall sticker here. These are our coolest computers for designing. They all have Adobe installed. Uh, these are our Macs here. We have the drawing tablets with them. They're really popular to use. Everyone loves using those. Um, these are my personal favorites. The Circus Studios. Um, and they have the pen, but my favorite part, the screen comes down. So if you're working on something you need to draw, it's really awesome for that sort of thing. Um, and then we have our uh, docking stations here, and those are great for having more space. They're high quality, great for design work. So, like a normal day here? Hmm. My Chromebook won't connect to the Wi-Fi. Can you please help me? Nope. It's great here. We keep ourselves busy. This is some of the equipment we have available in our equipment wow, checkout program. The program is uh, free for use for students and staff and faculty. Um, so these are some of our most popular items, the iPad, laptop, and cameras. Um, each of these items are available for checkout for up to six weeks at a time per semester. Every so often, Nick dies of boredom. So I think the thing that makes the Tech Commons so special is really in its name, right? I mean, Tech, which is, you know, Latin for technobos, which is, you know, to fix broken stuff. And Commons, because everybody that comes has something in common. They get to meet Nick, and Hayden, and Ethan, and Kenzie, and Megan, and Josiah. And getting to meet those great people is just really great. And then they have great technobos after, which is awesome.